Hey guys, it's Joe. So I thought I would put out a quick video in conjunction with this message as I do a lot better talking to a camera than just writing. If you read the message, you'll know that in a few days on October 11th, which is Thursday, I am going to have a below the knee amputation on my right leg. Um, I have had over 10 surgeries on my ankle. If you know me pretty well, you'll know that I'm generally kind of limping around. The backstory behind that is that I shattered it when I was 13. I've had um, countless surgeries. Like I said, I think it's about, I've been about 10. And um, I've been on narcotics for years for it to try to keep the pain under control. Uh, it hurts all of the time, even though I try to live normal life. I try to be active, I try to do stuff. And over the last year, it's gotten to the point where I cannot do anything. I can't walk around the block, I can't walk the dogs, I can't go to the gym, I can't do jiu-jitsu, I can't do anything. And it hurts significantly more. Like, I'm in a lot of pain all of the time, whether I'm walking or not, and that's just not gonna work for me. There are some other options that could be tried. I've tried everything under the sun, um, and the options that are left on the table are not good ones. After a lot of consideration and a lot of talking to people and consulting doctors and consulting other people who know what they're talking about and a lot of thinking, um, I, along with my surgeons, have come to the conclusion that this is the best choice for my life and for what I want my life to look like, hopefully. Obviously, it comes with a lot of risks and no guarantees, so it's a kind of, well, not kind of, it's a very freaky process and I am definitely terrified and nervous but also really excited for what life could be and excited to embrace this new challenge and what life is going to look like. Um, but I wanted to let you all know so that no one is particularly shocked if they see me in person in a month or two and I don't have a leg. It will probably still be sort of shocking for people, myself included. Um, but I just wanted to sort of prepare people and also thank everybody so much for all of their um, care and concern as so many of you know what I have been going through. So thank you sincerely and thank you for everyone's continued support. Um, I also wanted to say, and I don't mean to sound like a jerk about this at all, but a lot of people have, um, as I've kind of been considering this, just like random people, I'm not even talking about people on Facebook, but like told me what to do with my life or like told me, yes, you should do this or no, you shouldn't do that. But um, like if you have strong opinions on whether or not this is a good option for my life, I would kindly request that you keep them to yourself because this is a very emotional decision for me. And um, I have made the decision and I know what's best for me. That being said, um, I would love to see you guys after surgery. If you're interested in stopping by, I would love to talk to you. Um, messaging is usually the best way to do that, Facebook Messenger. I'll probably be out of things for a while. Uh, and then I would love to catch up with everybody. And I can't wait to get back to seeing everybody at jiu-jitsu and the gym and um, at work and everything. So I look back to being in the routine of things, hopefully as soon as possible, and adjusting to a new way of life ASAP and seeing what the heck that looks like because there's only so much preparation you can do beforehand. And then it's just sort of a, you know what? We'll just see how things look. So I'll probably be in the hospital for a day, maybe two, hopefully not any longer than that. Then I'll be back at home recovering with my fantastic family who is so supportive and my friends like you guys who are amazing. So thank you so much for your support. Like I said, just wanna let you know guys, um, everyone know what's going on moving forward and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Also, just on a side note, like I said, if I don't respond to you, I promise it's not personal or anything like that. I'm kind of really overwhelmed. Probably will be for a little while and I will definitely get back to everybody as soon as I possibly can. Post-surgery, Brian will update everyone and let everyone know how things have gone. I'm sure it'll go really well. I love my surgeon, he's great. And uh, I've seen his work. So, uh, love you all. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.